Hey guys, hey guys, oh guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey people, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, David here. Why a Christmas movie released in November, I have no idea. Well, hello everyone and welcome to my review of Disney's A Christmas Carol. That's right, Charles Dickens with Disney in front of it. Disney is going to take over everything. It's going to take over the world. I swear that little mouse is evil. If you do not know what the story is about for A Christmas Carol, slap yourself in the face for about a good maybe 10 minutes, give or take. Two minutes or so, you almost you'll, you'll you'll probably get it. I mean, you should know it's a classic. I mean, you know Scrooge, who is a complete dick, he hates everybody, he hates Christmas, uh, is taught a lesson by uh, receiving a visit from his old friend Marley as a ghost, and tells him that he's going to be visited by three spirits, the ghosts of uh, Christmas past, present, and future, and will try to change him. That's pretty much the story in a nutshell. And if you do not know it, I'm, I swear you should know it. And that's actually one of the things that I didn't like about the movie. Now, this is directed by Robert Zemeckis. We all know that Robert Zemeckis is an Academy Award winning uh, filmmaker who directed Forrest Gump and Back to the Future. And he also directed Beowulf, which has the similar exact technology as was used in this film in which they take uh, motion capture performances by the actors and their voice talents as well and put them into the movie. But aside from that, they computer, they generally, they computer generate all the bodies and all the characters and all the environments and everything and try to make it as fully realistic as possible which gives off the debate of t as to why they film it in th they make it in 3D computer animation in the first place he also directed the Polar Express which is a similar movie with the technology and it's also a Christmas movie oh my god Robert Zemeckis is Santa now I was not fortunate but provided to watch the movie in 3D I'm gonna have to say at first I was like ooh my first 3D movie, because this movie was actually the first movie that I saw in digital real D 3D, whatever the hell that is. Which was kind of bogus because I already wear glasses, so I had to put the 3D glasses over my regular glasses. I was literally a four eyes. And to be honest, I was kind of bummed out with the 3D. I was expecting this film to actually be one of those movies that were destined for 3D. Usually when a movie goes 3D, it, it's gonna kind of suck or be meh. Uh, I thought this movie was going to be awesome in 3D. It still was. It wasn't bad. It actually took advantage of it. And being that this is a Robert Zemeckis film, or let alone a computer animated Robert Zemeckis film, which we all know from the experience of The Polar Express and Beowulf, we know that there's going to be infinite amount of opportunities for the, uh, for the movie to take advantage of the 3D uh, feature. Because there's an awful lot of shots where they close up on things and things come at you for no reason. Even in movies that weren't released in 3D, like Beowulf and Polar Express. Though I think Pull Express got re-released in 3D. Uh, I don't know, but um, those films, there's tons of shot in so, uh, shots in those films where things are just flying at the camera for no apparent reason, which is what Zemeckis loves to do. And here they do this, it's no exception, but it actually takes advantage of it with the 3D. And every now and then there'll be a good shot in which stuff is flying towards the camera and everything looks cool, especially when they're whooshing through London and almost every little bit of it is uh, awesome. But I was just expecting a little more. And like I said before, one of the things that took away from this movie that kind of bummed me out is the fact that this is a Christmas carol. How many times have we heard this story before? Post in the comments. Tell me how many times have you heard a Christmas carol. I, I lost count, all right? I've seen, uh, you know, there, we have tons of remakes of movies. There's the one with Professor Xavier, Patrick Stewart. There's the old one from the 1930s. There's a small little special with Uncle Scrooge from Disney, you know, Duck, you know, Donald Duck's uh, uncle. It's been retold and redone hundreds of times, and now we got yet another one. And like I said, that takes it out of the story. I know how it's going to end, so there was no, there's no big spoiler about the film. There's nothing, you know, story-wise, there's nothing grand in terms of the fact that I already know what's going to happen. Not to mention I had to read the damn book in English class senior year. Yeah. Overall, I'll give the film... An 8.8 .8 out of 10, a B plus, simply because Jim Carrey's performance in this film 
is awesome. You could you can't tell it's Jim Carrey, but I don't know, he just did a really good job as Scrooge. If this was live action, I would say that he would get yet another Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor, because that's what he's good at. It's awesome. And even there's little hints, little uh, moments in the film where you feel like Jim Carrey had some input into the, into the movie. Like, uh, there's a scene where it's like a, like a kind of a little bit of like a circus act, and you could kind of feel that Jim Carrey had some sort of uh, involvement in that sequence. You got other great performances by Gary Oldman. Uh, the 3D is okay. It's not a thing too spectacular. I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but it was it was somewhat okay. And this is a holiday film. The thing, the, you know, the holidays are coming up with first with Thanksgiving and Christmas. So this is a good movie to watch with your family. Everybody was clapping when the movie was over. Everybody was like, yes, you know, awesome. Even though we knew what was going to happen, it was still a fun movie to watch. So Check it out. Disney is a Christmas Carol. So that's it for this movie review. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.